Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to bulk update products in Magento. Magento comes with a bulk update tool that allows you to update any of the standard Magento attributes, to update any of the custom attributes, to change stock levels and their product's availability, and also to add or remove products from websites. And in this tutorial, you're going to learn about all of these options. So with that said, let's jump over to Magento and we'll see you there in a few moments time. So Dave, let's go and have a look at the bulk update tool within Magento. And this feature is hiding and I'll show you where it's hiding to. So first of all, we need to go to catalog and then manage products. Now I did say it's hiding and for the purpose of this example or this tutorial, I'm only going to pick up one product, but you could pick up one, two, 10, a hundred or lots and lots of products. So tick the products on the left hand side and over on the right hand side, you've got this actions drop down box, drop this down and choose update attributes and then press the submit button on the right hand side. So from this page, we can bulk update any of the attributes for all of the products which we selected on the previous page. So if you want a really bad example, you would change the name column at the top and that would update the name <laughs> of all of the products. So we only picked up one, but if you'd picked up 10 and then changed their name, then you'd end up with 10 products all named the same. So that's a really bad one. Yeah, that would be highly not desirable. Indeed. But you could have done a search for maybe part of a SKU or maybe a brand or a manufacturer, something like that. And you may want to change the price for that product. So where you've got the price field, I'm going to tick the box which says change. And the change tick box is really important because if you don't tick the change option, you're unable to update that attribute. Now, Dave, I know that that product is got a price set on it. It's $699 and 99 cents. So I'm actually going to up the price on that product. And again, it could be multiple products which you've chosen here. And I'm going to change the price to $799. We can also change other attributes like the special price. Again, from one of the previous tutorials which we recorded, we had that product on sale for $599.95. I'm going to change it to $699 and 95 cents and again this will change the prices on all of the products which you've been selected now if you scroll down you'll see that you're able to bulk update any of the common attributes one of the most common ones for you to change is the status and again you can see i'm here clicking on status and i can to change that attribute tick the change box, the drop down box becomes enabled, and then you could then bulk update whether the product is set to be enabled or disabled. Now I'm gonna go and choose enabled. You could also do this for the visibility as well. So if you wanted to remove products from your website, you could not only disable them there, you could also change the visibility, or you could change the visibility to catalog search so that they do show everywhere. If we scroll back up, on the left hand side, we've got a separate tab for inventory. So if you wanted to change the stock levels or you did a stock check, for example, and you know that all the products which you ticked had the same stock level, you could tick the option and change the stock level to 10 maybe. If you've done a search and found all the products which are out of stock and you want to change them to in stock, you would then tick the change tick box on the right hand side and you can change the stock availability. Also, Dave, there's an option in here and I've not just seen it just yet. Ah, there it is. Display product options in. Now, Dave, you know, when you create a configurable product in Magento, by default, it defaults to product info column. Yeah. When we want it to be block after info column instead. So you can bulk update maybe all your configurable products to be the same layout as what you want across them all. So for example, maybe we've done a search for all the configurable products. So when we were creating them manually, we forgot to update that design option. We can come in here, tick that box, 
change the setting of course when we press save in a moment's time then that product will be updated or all the products which you've been selected will be updated the one final tab on the left hand side is that where you can add products to websites so in this case we've only got one magento website but if you've got multiple magento websites you can tick these website options so that you can add products to or remove products from different websites in bulk now what i would strongly suggest is that you do go back and review your settings just to make sure they're all right again look out for the tip box options those should be the little flags for you to check and of course if we scroll down you can see that we've changed the price we've changed the special price if we scroll down we change the status we change the visibility and we also change the display product options in option as well once we're happy with those settings press save in the top right hand corner now this has been really quick because we've only been in edited one product. If you've picked up a hundred products, then it's quite likely it's gonna take Magento a couple of moments to save. Now there is like the other end of the spectrum here, Dave, is that if we had 27,000 products in our Magento catalog and we tried updating them in bulk, it's quite likely that it's gonna time out. If that is the case for you, the best suggestion for us to make to you is to choose smaller page numbers. So instead of trying to update them all, go through one page at a time and update them that way. Or another suggestion is to use a tool called MagMe, which will allow you to bulk update 10, 100, thousands or hundreds of thousands of products using a CSV file. And you can find out more about MagMe on the understandinge.com website because we've got a course which will show you everything which you need to know about MagMe. Now, Dave, can you also see up here at the top, we've got a message. He can indeed, saying, please refresh catalog URL rewrites and product attributes in system index management. Indeed. So there's two ways you can get there. The easy way is just to click on index management, or you can go to system and then index management. And then from this page, you can re-index your Magento website. So just click select all on the left and then hit submit on the right hand side. And then your changes will be then reflected on your Magento website. You may have also invalidated some of the caches on your Magento website. And that's really straightforward to do. If you go to system, cache management, and the simplest way of explaining this, click on select all on the left hand side and press submit on the right hand side. So in this tutorial, we've shown you how to bulk update your products in mass and also a couple of extra tips in there for when it comes to the re-indexing and the clearing the caches in Magento. Does that make sense, Dave? Yeah, it was all dead easy. So with that said, for myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.